Hobsonian telescopes are the perfect tool to visually explore the night sky. Great for someone getting started, but large enough that you'll not easily outgrow it. The big advantage is that they are manual, simple and easy to use. You can get a real telescope for a reasonable price. With a telescope, the most important thing is the aperture. That is the size of the mirror. The larger the mirror, the more light you capture, so the more detail you see in an object. Magnification is not so important, as this is just based on the eyepiece you're using. Magnifying just makes the image bigger, not better. The Dobsonian provides you with a maximum aperture for your dollar, with the money going into the optics rather than the fancy mount that you may not really need. But the telescope is all manual. There is nothing automatically finding objects and tracking them for you. You are the computer and the motor driving it. However, this encourages you to learn the night sky and to have fun browsing the sky. The Skywatch at Dobsonians come in two variants, solid tube and a collapsible truss tube. The telescopes come with standard width, two eyepieces, a 25mm and a 10mm plus a light piece. The 25mm is for a low magnification, wider angle field of view. The 10mm is good for close-up looks at the moon and planets. An 8x50 optical finder. This is mounted on the side of the telescope and sees a very wide field of view. The crosshair inside lets you center the main telescope on an object. The 6 inch model comes with a 6x30 finder. A single speed Crayford focuser providing a smooth focusing movement. The focuser includes a one and a quarter inch adapter for using one and a quarter inch eyepieces and accessories. The base ro rotates smoothly on Teflon pads with tension control handles to control the vertical movement. The collapsible model can also be extended for use and easily reduced for storage and transport. The Dobsonian telescope is very portable and easy to set up. This is the 10 inch collapsible model. Place the base on solid ground. Insert the telescope tube to rest on the pads inside. Insert and tighten the tension handles. So the tension handle is not too firm, just gripping as desired. Check your finder scope is aligned and insert an eyepiece. The telescope will move freely left and right and up and down.